Hi again, this is Charles Scamahorn, probaway.wordpress.com, and I'm going to tell you again how to save your life and everybody else's life on the planet. Uh, I've already shown you two videos uh, that we were about hippocleans, uh, iodine, and this antiseptic wash, and, uh, and the dove soap, and ivory. But this is going to be different because I'm not going to go through the whole explanation. I'm just going to get down to the essentials. And they are that COVID does not live on doorknobs. It dies there slowly maybe, maybe it takes a couple hours, but that does not live there. It doesn't live on your hands either. It slowly dies there. Where it lives is in your, in your nose, in your throat, in your lungs, and that's where it reproduces because it needs other cells of other creatures, in this case us, to uh, replicate itself. So, during that time when they are in the in, in on your hands or getting into your nose, you have the opportunity to wash your hands with, uh, say, Dove soap, common soap available, and that works pretty well. Except that sometimes you catch a disease. It's not altogether bad to catch a disease because if you can keep your symptoms really mild, then you'll develop immunity and probably be better off. So, what I did was I wanted to find something that was uh, more powerful enough to kill the, the disease. I think the hippocleans as well, if in concentration. But it bothers your nose. And when I got down to Dove soap, I found that using that really did bother my nose. So I don't want to use soap in my nose. So I did some experiments with this. It's just standard baby soap, generic baby soap. And I won't mention the fact that in fine print down here it says uh, compare to Johnson's baby soap and shampoo. But uh, I won't mention that. <clears throat> in any case, I already did an experiment a couple hours ago where I put two drops of it into this bottle with 200 milliliters of water. Now you'll notice, this is how much soap there is still. If I shake it up like that, there's a quite a bit of suds there. In fact, when I was taking this, I was thinking, it doesn't really need to be that strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour out <clears throat> that. And I'm gonna mix up a new bottle because I like to show you exactly what I do. And that consists of taking distilled water. We got this out of the home still. I'm going to put 200 milliliters of water in there. I'm not going to worry too much about spilling it because it's just plain water. That's pretty close to 200 milliliters. So I'm going to take this baby shampoo and put one drop using an eyedropper. So there you have it. Yikes looking stuff. And I'm going to put that in here. Watch this. One drop. See? One drop. I'm not kidding around about anything here. I'm not faking it. I'm not just talking about it. I'm not bragging about it. I'm showing you exactly what I do here. Now I shake it up. Yikes, that's pretty frothy. So the idea is to sniff some of this into my nose where it will kill the viruses. We know that this stuff kills it on your hands. Why wouldn't it kill it in your nose? That's obvious. Anybody can see that. But I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I pour some out in my hand, a little puddle full. And then I sniff it. You can see one drop in all of this is not gonna be a very high concentration, but I'm snorting in it. If I had some uh, disease process going on there, probably of any kind, it would probably kill it, viral disease. So that's what was to it. So if I felt a little bit paranoid about having that in my nose, I'll do this with distilled water. And at this point, it seems highly unlikely that I would be having any negative side effects of it. However, by doing that, I have probably killed 
the viruses, the coronaviruses, um, COVID, if you want to call it that, COVID-19, if you prefer. But I think I can probably kill them that way. And I and you can live longer, happier, healthier lives and maybe get rid of this epidemic, pandemic, before it kills us all. Anyway, I hope you try it. I hope uh, I'm going to send this to our esteemed president who's been suggesting uh, some pretty weird things like uh, Clorox being shot into people because that would clear up stuff. This is not actually inside of your body. It's not on your hands, it's in your nose, but you can see where I can blow it right out. It is not in my body. Therefore, I don't see where I'm practicing medicine, but what I am practicing is cleanliness, external cleanliness. And I think if you do that too, uh, you can rescue yourself from having a mild case to developing into a worse case, and you can prevent your friends from getting the disease because you sneeze on them or put your hand to your face and wipe a doorknob and they get it that way. Anyway, probaway.wordpress.com, and I hope to see you live a long and healthy and prosperous life. Bye now.